Hello everyone! In this tutorial we explain how to uninstall Docker engine on Linux Ubuntu and how to erase Docker images. Here is the motivation. From time to time in Linux Ubuntu it's a good idea to uninstall a program and to perform a fresh install. Namely, after some time of extensively using a program and changing the configuration settings, the program might stop working. Consequently, the program has to be uninstalled and reinstalled. The same thing applies to Docker. In this tutorial, we explain how to correctly uninstall Docker on Linux Ubuntu and how to erase Docker images. The official manual Docker web page contains instructions on how to uninstall Docker Engine. However, in this tutorial, besides following these instructions, we will do more. That is, we will make sure that Docker is actually properly uninstalled. We will erase images and later on we will do several checks in order to make sure that Docker is completely uninstalled and that all configuration files are removed such that next time when you want to install Docker you will have a completely fresh installation. Okay, let's start. The first step is to open a terminal. Then I'm going to resize this terminal such that you can see what I'm typing and you can also follow the manual that I've wrote and that's shown over here. First of all, we may have to make sure that Docker is installed on our system. To do that, you need to type Docker and then you need to type version. And if you see something like this, this means that Docker is installed on your system. Otherwise, if you don't see anything, this means that you don't have Docker on your system. However, you still might have some packages or maybe Docker is not added to your path. Consequently, it's still a good idea to try to remove the packages. The instructions for removing Docker given on the official web page tell us how to uninstall Docker and related packages. However, these instructions do not tell us how to remove Docker images we created. These images can occupy a significant amount of space on our disk. Consequently, it's a good idea to manually erase the images in order to free some space. However, here I need to stress the following. You should erase only the images that you will not need the next time you reinstall Docker. Let's see the list of images installed on my system. To do that, type Docker images and you can see over here all the images. And you can see, for example, that I have this image that's around 19 gigabytes and this is a huge image. Consequently, I will erase this image. To erase the image, you need to use this command docker image rm and then you need to specify this parameter force and you need to specify the name of the image. The best thing to do is to specify the image ID for the name of the image. Consequently, I will copy this image ID and I will type docker image rm f and then I will specify the tag of the image to remove the image and you can see that the image is removed and now let's double check that this image is actually removed. To do that we need to type docker images and here it is. The image is removed. Perfect. Then, to completely remove Docker from our system, we need to remove Docker Engine, CLI, Container, and Docker Compose packages. So let's start with the removal process. The cleanest way to remove a package or a program on Linux Ubuntu is to do sudo apt-get purge and then the name of the program or the package and consequently we need to execute these six commands. So let's start. First of all, let's remove docker ce. Then over here you need to enter your super user password and click on yes. And now this will take some time. 
Now we are purging configuration files and this is very, very important. Next, we need to purge or better to say to uninstall Docker C CLI. Again, let's press yes. Here you need to be patient. Then we need to erase this package containerd.inputoutput or IO. And let's erase this package. Okay, this will also take some time. Then we need to erase this package. Then after that, we need to erase this package. And finally, we need to erase this package. And you need to press yes. Okay, now all these packages are removed. However, we still need to do several things. Next, we need to erase these two folders. Namely, these two folders might contain several configuration packages and next time you try to install Docker, these configuration packages will be loaded. That is, old settings might be loaded. Consequently, it's a good idea to erase these folders. First of all, let's erase this folder. Now, this will take some time. And then let's erase this folder. Okay, the next step is to verify that there are no additional files or folders related to Docker that we need to uninstall. And the best strategy to check for these files and folders is to perform a simple search. How to do that? To perform search in Linux, I like to use this tool called plocate. plocate is a super fast search program and let's install it. After you install plocate and from time to time, it's necessary to update the plocate database such that you can quickly search for files and folders. Then let's search for Docker. To do that, simply type plocate and type Docker and let's see the output. Okay, let's see what do we have over here. Uh huh. We have a bunch of files, folders related to Docker and that contain certain Docker names. Now, over here, you can first of all see that this is a Python folder and I would not touch anything in this Python folder. And then you can see some other things over here. For example, there is a Move It and Move It has some Docker folder over here. However, I will also not touch these things. Then Firefox might also have a few things over here. However, these are not Docker files. Then here is my robot operating system and it also contains some Docker files. However, these are the internal Docker files or Docker images related to this. And if you scroll all the way up, you should search something that's home, Docker or Docker folder in some root directory or something similar. In my case, there is no such a folder or a file, so everything is erased. However, it's still a good idea to perform this search. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Also, on my YouTube channel, there are more than 800 free video tutorials covering different topics such as machine learning, control engineering, robotics, software engineering, C++, Python. So make sure that you check my YouTube page. Okay, that's all and see you in my next video tutorial.